Welcome to another day of smoking with Joe. Today we're going to do a little experiment where we brine some chicken before we smoke them. We're going to smoke three chickens and uh, I'm going to brine two of them to do a taste comparison. And the reason I'm brining two is because I'm going to brine one for 24 hours and I'm going to brine the other one for 12 hours. The results are going to be kind of interesting so you probably want to stick around to see how it all turns out. And we're giving away a discount coupon code for bradleysmoker.com, so you definitely don't want to miss that. Okay, so here's how we're going to do it. I'm going to start by making a 6% brine solution. And the way I do that is I just measure up some salt and add it to a certain amount of water. In this case, you know, I'm using liters and grams because that system is what we use in labs. And it gives you the exact measurements. And for the purpose of this experiment, I want exact measurements. I want to know that I have exactly a 6% brine solution. Okay, so I start off with about one and a half liters of water in the measuring cup. I'll zero the scale and add 120 grams of salt. And you'll notice there's 120 grams for two liters. That makes it 60 grams per liter, which makes it 6% per liter by weight. And I'll use the water in the other cup to top it up to two liters exactly. Okay, there you go, a 6% by weight brine. But we're not quite done yet. I'm going to add 120 grams of sugar now. Now, you can add a little more if you like. It's up to you, but I'm doing a one-to-one -one ratio. Just don't add it to the uh, water before you top it up to two liters. Pour it onto the chicken. If it doesn't cover the chicken, don't worry, just make another batch and pour it on top until it's covered. Okay, so day two of the brine chicken experiment. As you can see, I've got the three chickens here. I've got the 24 hour brine that we did yesterday, the 12 hour brine that we also did yesterday, and I've got a fresh chicken right out of the package. Uh, it's, uh, they're all out of the same package, just so you know. And uh, all I did was wash them off under cold water, dry them off with a paper towel, and uh, I'm gonna fire them into the smoker. And of course, the whole reason for doing this is to see what brining actually does to the chicken. Does it make it better, worse, flavorful, less flavorful, too salty, not salty enough? I mean, it's gonna be an interesting experiment, however we look at it. Be a simple setup. It'll be 240 degrees Fahrenheit. and five hours cook time because it's about the internal temperature. And three, two hours of smoke. Simple. Oh yeah, look at that. That is gorgeous. This is gonna be good. Okay, the chicken turned out amazing. Uh, I used a smoke time of two hours. I started them off at 240 degrees. And then I eventually turned up the temperature of the uh, smoker to 300 degrees. Um, I wanted the temperature, the internal temperature of the chicken to reach 185 degrees. And I didn't want to keep them in there for too long, but as it was, it was about a four hour process. Um, they cook perfectly. The joints come apart very nicely. Uh, the meat is nice and tender and nice and moist. Um, so let's, uh, let's try it out. The chicken on the right side here is a 12 hour brine. The chicken in the middle is the 24 hour brine. And the chicken on the end here, well, it's, it's the one I took out of the package and just put it right into the smoker. So with the 12 hour brine, still quite moist. A nice taste all the way through. And that's breast meat, that's usually dry, right? So let's try out the 24 hour brine. All right. Hmm. You know, the 24 hour brine is actually interesting because it's got more flavor than the 12 hour brine. So let's try the no brine at all. They've all got a nice smoke taste to them. This one has definitely got the least flavor, interestingly enough. 
This one has the most flavor, the 24 hour brine. And somewhere in the middle is the 12 hour brine. There's a little bit of sweetness with this because we used a little bit of sugar in the brine as well, if you recall. The skin, by the way, if you like crackly, crisp skin, and not so much on the uh, smoked chicken, it's uh, pretty leathery, pretty strong. Probably tastes good in a soup or a stew as a flavor additive, but uh, to just eat the skin is, is not my favorite. Let's put it that way. Someone might like it. So that's about it. I think it was a big success. Now you know for sure that 24 hours in a 6% brine is going to give you the most flavor. It's not salty tasting at all. And uh, the texture is still quite nice as well. The 12 hour brine, well that works too. And you know, if you don't want to brine it at all and you just want to put it in the smoker, well, that works as well. It's just different tasting. It's just not as flavorful, kind of bland actually. So there you go. Brine chicken. All right, before I chow down on another piece of chicken, better tell you about the uh, discount coupon for bradleysmoker.com and check them out. They've got a lot of great equipment over there. So we'll see you next time.